Hi, and welcome to another Gravity.io video talking about authentication flows, this time about MongoDB using OAuth. Okay, so let's head over to Access Management first of all, where we're going to create a domain. So let's do um, create domain. Let's call it auth domain. Cool. It's there. Create. Okay, let's enable that domain. And once that's done, then what you'll actually see is in settings, you'll actually have a provider which has been set up by default, which is the MongoDB default identity provider. What we're going to do is add a user there. Okay, so we're going to add a user. Let's call that username um, auth user. Let's give it a password. Let's give it a first name, email address. Okay, cool. Okay, so now if we go to users, what we'll see is that we've got an Elish Mystery user, username is auth user, and we've added it to the default identity provider, which is MongoDB. Okay, so now what we're going to do is actually create an application for that user. So go to applications. Here we go. Web next. Um, let's create a application name. Say Mongo auth application. Give it a description. This is a test. Redirect the URL. We can just give it bbc.co.uk. Let's just call it Mongo auth. Let's just use the same as the client secret there. Uh, let's do create. Okay, so now we've created the application. You can see that we've got a endpoint. We've got identity providers. Um, let's just enable MongoDB there. We've got a design and we've got settings. Those are the settings that we initially authenticated. So if we head over to overview and just scroll down for a second, you'll actually see the login flow. So now let's just test that login flow works. Okay, let's head over to here. Let's head over to an incognito tab. Let's put in that URL. There, it's going to ask you to log on. So let's remember our username. So it was, um, let's just, I've forgotten it actually. So let's just head over to here. Head over to um, settings, users, or user. Okay. Cool. So off user. Let's just give it the password if I can remember it. Put that there. Sign in. And yeah, it's got through. So we've authenticated with that username and password, which is coming from MongoDB. Okay, so now we've tested our all flow from MongoDB. Now what we're going to do is head over to um, API management and create an API to use that authentication flow. So now let's head over to API manager. Let's do add. Let's do um, API. Sorry, add. Let's use create design studio. Let's create a, a name. Mongo um, of API. That's cool. 0 0.1, this is a test API, context path, let's do Mongo auth, that's cool. Next, backend, let's use the time API again. Next, let's not create a plan just for now. Skip, um, skip, um, create and start the API. That's cool, so now we've created the API, but what we're going to do now is create the resource. So if we head over to design, go to resource, AM, Gravity AM, let's give it a resource name, Mongo resource, let's give it a server URL. We can actually find this here. So if you go to um, applications, therefore endpoints, we can just pick it up from there. That's great. Paste. Okay, 
and let's use 3.0 security domain is what we've got here so it's off domain there the client ID and secret are the ones that we've got in here so client ID is mongo off let's just paste that into there and the secret was the same okay that's cool let's do save there okay save and deploy so now we've created our connection to access management so now what we're going to do is now we've done that let's create a plan so if we go back to portal here plans let's do plan let's just call it plan test plan next that security type is of two the resource name is mongo resource that should be good now i'm not going to create any policies on this time do save there let's publish that plan so now we've created the plan what we need to do is go and create the application so let's deploy that and head over to developer console let's create an application let's call it mongo app this is our test next let's call it web let's call it I the client ID is what we had there, Mongo off. So let's put that into our clipboard again. Let's paste that. Next, um, let's look for our Mongo API. Okay, so it's not appearing there. So let's go to API management. Let's look at what we haven't done there. Details, we haven't published the API. So let me do that now. Cool. So now let's go back to here. Let's just do a there we go, it appears now. Let's subscribe to it. Let's do next. Okay, that's good. Let's create the application. Okay, so that's good. So over to there, subscriptions. Okay, so now we've created our API, we've created our plan, we've created our application. Now what we can do is actually head over to Postman and create a GET request. So let's do that. So let's head over to Postman. You can actually see here, let's close that one down. That one down. Uh, we've got Mongo off here. Um, what you can actually see is it's the params of authorization tab you pick OAuth2 um, and the grant type is password so let's make sure everything is is as it should be so the access token URL is the one that we should be able to steal from access management so let's access token URL See, off demo, that should actually be off domain. Cool. Client ID and secret, let's just check, I think that's right. Mongo off, Mongo off, that's fine. The username and password that we used is slightly different because it was off user and the password was um, that. Okay, so now we should um oh sorry that's not right there off user there go off go off okay so that should that looks okay so now we put in our credentials let's get the new access token okay so it's authenticated it's retrieved the token let's use the token and now let's send and you can see that the time api has worked correctly so now let's just try something let's put a wrong username in there and you can see authentication failed because it's the wrong username so back to token details let's put that in again Let's try again. 
and you can see it passed this time. So it's authenticating against the user that's in MongoDB um, through access management. So nice and straightforward for actually authenticating using an OAuth flow in a MongoDB database, which is the default IDP in access management. Okay, um, and that's it for that demo. So we've gone through that whole flow in about 10 minutes and we've configured access management and API management to use the OAuth 2 flow. Thanks a lot and I'll see you on the next video.